Hey everybody, I'm here at the farm in Newton and I uh, haven't been in these bees in a while so we're going to go through them real quick and check on them. Why don't you peek in with me on a couple of hives here. Let's get started. Smoke in the front. Have it glued down. This has been historically a pretty strong hive if I remember correctly. Man, they got it glued down crazy strong. Uh, kind of like Ozark was. We, I see some beetles moving around. You can see I got the towel in here, so who knows how long it's been. It is a little damp. Looks like uh, there's been some moisture in the top of the hive, but the bees are really active at the hive entrance, and so I'm guessing it's a pretty darn strong hive here. Let me sum this stuff up. When it's cold, one of the biggest things you deal with is the condensation, and that can actually kill hives. I can hear them humming in there. There's definitely a pretty good population of bees. Not a lot of bees in this top box, but there are a few. So let's just pull this frame out. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's a few bees, and actually right here, they're putting in, it's, it's a yellow color. Could be nectar from some kind of a source. Let's go more to the middle. This hive is actually a deep and two mediums. Probably would have been fine with just a deep and a medium. Look at that, putting in some stores. I have been feeding these bees fairly consistently along with all my bees this year actually, and I think it has paid off. I will not harvest from these boxes. If I have time, I plan to also do an oxalic acid treatment. So these will be just boxes for the bees if the population is not good in here i may take this box off and feed it to another hive or set them out and let the bees clean it up but i think we'll just let them have this throughout the year let's go down to the next one now, this is what i'm talking about right here strong hive we can see there's a lot of bees food stores there don't seem to be any issues with any of my bees this year with food stores i've been feeding them and I tried to leave some on the hives this year. I've just kind of tried to manage that the best way possible. Honey, food stores. Let's see what we got in this middle one. Sometimes they'll put a little brood in the second box. It's 100% food stores. There's a lot of bees in that bottom box too that I can see just looking down. Let's just take this box off real quick and look down in there. They're getting a little feisty, a little aggravated with me, I think, which I don't blame them. Look at all those bees. Hoping to see a little brood in these boxes. I'm not going all the way to the edge. I know some people really get irritated about that, but it's just, I think we'll be okay. I'm gonna be real slow and easy as I pull this frame out. Okay, I'm excited about this. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Look at that brood right there. Right here, we have a great brood pattern right here in the middle, and there is, in my last video I mentioned what I call milk brood, which is newly hatched larva all through here. It's kind of hard to see probably. And then we got a little pollen around the edges, plenty of bees. And this is on a third from the outside frame. Same thing on this side, look at that. Little bees running around here with pollen on their legs. I'm excited about this. I've been down to the hives in Slocum, and now these hives, and last week I did the video on the bees in Ozark, and they are not, I mean, they're doing okay, but these bees up here in Slocum are looking better, for sure. Look at that brood pattern, I'm excited about that. So this hive is about to explode, it looks like to me. I shook them off so I wouldn't smash bees hopefully are all bees i'm very careful put it back in slowly oh, heavy heavy mostly honey in that one okay this is a two deep a five frame nuke i usually overwinter a few like this in these nukes and double nukes but this year i didn't overwinter very many 
just didn't work out that way okay it looks like i put this i got a few beetles dang it i've actually ordered some beetle blasters to try and address this issue uh, this year but looks like i put this second box on here to make sure they had enough space probably back in the fall and uh, these outer two frames here look like new frames well they are starting to draw the wax out and every once in a while for some crazy reason they'll do what i call this wonky comb here so i'll probably just shake the bees off like that and then i'll just take this hive tool here and just try to gently peel that off try not to injure any bees typically what happens is they build it back just fine if not we'll just keep trying to correct them but they have obviously been putting white wax in here uh, what i define as white wax is just this brand new beautiful wax right here they're drawing it out they're actually putting some honey in here it could just be storage from the food we've been feeding them this is a complete frame of food i believe we'll see if there's any brood in, the, in it i don't think there is actually we have some eggs up through this area right here. We got a little queen cup, no egg in there. These bees do still have a little room to work in the hive with the frames that they're trying to fill out, but yeah. Got some brood right through here. We got a little brood on that one, right through here. So plenty of food in here. The way these nukes are built, there is a little space in the bottom. So they do do some burr comb in here. It's just kind of part of it. It's no biggie. Yeah, they'll do that in any hive, but especially if there's too much space. And there's just a bit too much here, it looks like. I need to get myself a bucket to put this wax in. I'm seeing a lot of food in this box as well, so I'm trying to be as easy as possible. You really don't want to roll anybody, especially a queen. Lots of bees. Now, they're drawing this out. Oh my goodness. Let me show you what's going on with this next frame. Look at that. Brood. Don't really see a lot of, I haven't seen a lot of drone brood in any of my hives yet, but it's coming soon. Look at all that. I can't remember where this queen came from. She might be one of my bee weaver queens that I ordered late in the season, but I'm not sure. I didn't write that on the top of the box, so probably not. I think this hive originated from a swarm catch that I had. I almost didn't make it, and I, I can't remember exactly how I rectified the situation. I've done so much, but boy, look at that brood. Well, this hive is going to absolutely explode, and we're going to need to... Uh, split them or give them some more space very soon i'm excited about this that's awesome i'm just going to put them back together i think i'm actually going to reverse this frame put this to the outside we got a lot of pollen look at that beautiful pollen and honey and i'm going to turn this side that they're trying to draw out to the middle so maybe they'll go ahead and draw it out better i'm going to put it back in very gently Try and smoke and make sure we don't smash any bees. All right. Okay, they have some room right here to uh, fill out a little bit more, and this thing is going to be really packed with bees very soon. Let's close it up. I'm going to go through the rest of these colonies now very quickly, and then we'll we'll sum it up here at the end. I got through all these bees, and they are stronger than I thought they were had to add a couple of boxes they were just cram packed with bees this one right here add a second box this one right here we had actually a third five frame neat box on there this one right here the little bit of a gray color box in the middle off white color we just put that box on there cram packed with bees And then over here, those two right there, we added a second box on. Had so many bees, I was afraid they were going to run out of room to lay and maybe even try to swarm. So we don't need that happening. 
going to be splitting these bees just as soon as we can. We got a little chilly weather coming in, and so we're just going to watch the weather and see when we start seeing drones. As soon as we can get a hold of some cells, we're going to split some bees here. Right now, if I had queens to put in these hives, I could probably make 15 or 20 splits uh, between here and the rest of my bees, but we're just not quite ready yet, but it's not far away. Y'all take care and be safe.